Now you understand that density is a physical property of matter, and you understand that conductivity is a physical property of matter, because neither of those two change the bonds between atoms in a substance to make it a different substance. And now we arrive at one of the physical properties of matter that doesn't really look like a physical property. When you see solubility at the atomic level, it almost looks like some kind of a chemical change is happening, even though it is indeed a physical change, and solubility is a physical property. Let's take a look at what happens when you dissolve a substance in another substance and why that's a physical change and not a chemical change. Why solubility is a physical property, not a chemical property. The substance we're going to be taking a look at is a delicious one, sugar. Solubility is how well matter evenly mixes when added to another kind of matter. So if we take this sugar and we evenly mix it in another kind of matter, is it still going to be sugar? Now, this sugar crystal, you may have seen this as rock candy sometime in your life, has atoms that are bonded together to make molecules that are arranged in a crystal pattern like the one that you see in the atomic picture. But in order to dissolve something, it's very helpful to first break it down and grind it up. When we break down this sugar crystal, are we changing it to a different substance? Well, look what happens. First of all, observe what the molecules of this sugar crystal look like. Then observe what happens when we break apart the crystal to make granules. Notice that all of the molecules look the same. They still contain carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen in the exact same shape as they did before. We just broke the crystal apart into smaller pieces. And that's what's going to happen when we dissolve it too. Let's put our small crystal pieces now in water. The water is going to surround and isolate each individual molecule of sugar so that the sugar molecules aren't really bonded together as a crystal anymore. But here's the big question. Are the sugar molecules bonded together differently than they were before? Are they something other than sugar? They still have the exact same atoms, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, in the exact same shape that they were before. We didn't change the molecules to a different substance. We didn't rearrange the bonds at all. They're still sugar. All we did was separated them from one another, and separating them is a physical change, making solubility a physical property. We didn't change one substance to an entirely different substance by rearranging its atoms in the way that they're bonded. When you observe that sugar dissolves easily in water, you are observing a physical, not a chemical, property. You're just observing that the sugar molecules are being spread out and surrounded by the water molecules. They're not changing to anything other than sugar molecules. So there you have it. A physical property of matter is a property that you can observe without changing the substance to a different substance. Maybe you're mixing substances together, but each individual substance, the molecules are going to retain their shape. The atoms aren't going to change the way that they're bonded. The molecules themselves may change where they're located and how they're arranged with respect to each other, but the bonds holding the atoms together, the shape of the molecule, the atoms that are there, aren't going to change. The substance is going to remain the same substance. Sugar, when mixed with water, is still sugar, and the water is still water, they don't become different substances.